Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 9th, and today was a lovely gorgeous day outside, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, got this morning, got a few things done, still packing some stuff up, I'm getting so close, I'm just waiting to be ready to actually pack the car 100% so I can get myself back out of here and get back down to my girl, because that's what I need to do, so... Went ahead, um, got a couple of things done here and there, whatnot. Uh, probably should have went for a run and got that over with and got my shower and said heck with it. Instead, went on up to Ottumwa, um, hung out with my buddy and his dad. Um, I, I missed that conversation, just sitting around smoking cigars and just talking about a bunch of random nothingness in the process. So, went ahead, um, had a wonderful day. I actually drove up there, um, went through Abbey. I just hadn't been that road um, for a long, long time, probably a couple of years. I don't drive that road very often. So took that road, um, stopped in at Walmart, had to get a couple items, uh, come back out to the car and they don't fit in the car. So I was like, Oh, that's not going to work. So went ahead and said to heck with it. Um, I'll have to get those. I was going to get a, had a gift I was bringing to somebody that didn't happen. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to order it online, I think, and take care of it that way. So went ahead, um, got over to the house, hung out with them. I actually had to go pick up my accountant uh, office, pick up my taxes and some other paperwork that I turned into them and I got that all taken care of. Went around, hit a couple shops I hadn't seen for a while, went by my old business, and it's actually condemned by the Board of Health, which is awesome to see. So, yeah, terrifying as hell of how quickly somebody can destroy what you spent so many years uh, building it really just i don't know it's sad he destroyed it in like months not you know not like it took this long to get shut down but it's absolutely absolutely ridiculousness but i remember the first time my um, ex-wife went back in there after we'd sold the business and she literally was in there about, about 12 minutes and started to tear up and left and went outside and literally bawled because he had um it stunk in there. It was just, it was awful. It was gross. It was just such a dis, disdain of what actually happened. I wish in the back of my head, I really wish, and in my in deep in my heart, I wish I would have never sold it to him. And what he had told me he was going to do was nothing at all what he actually did. He had made promises he was going to have these people run it and take care of it this way and do such and such. And I thought, okay, no big deal. And instead, he just ran it right straight into the fucking ground. Like, just ridiculousness. So... It is what it is, and if you hear him say, I'm sure he's like, well, knew there was no money in retail, even though I'd made tons of money, bought boats, houses, and so on and so forth with the retail money. So it is what it is, but anyway, that's way off topic of what I'm talking about here. It has brought back some weird memories, um, seeing how I was going to actually walk in the building this time and realize I can't, so it is what it is. Um, from there, headed up the house, hung out with them, had a just wonderful conversation, smoked a couple of good cigars. Uh, ended up, when they went and got tenderloins, which I had a tenderloin already. Um, tenderloin's a big thing in Iowa. It really is. Um, and it wasn't that great. Got it from Hy-Vee, and it was definitely not um, the wonderfulest. This was phenomenal from a place called The Rec Room. And, oh, my Lord, it was good. It was so damn good. Six bucks, get you an awesome, giant, fat tenderloin, and a and the rest of the, the styrofoam container full of fries. Like It was a great, great deal. So... Um, went ahead, had that wonderful meal. We hung around, just kind of shot the shit a little bit. Bruce hung out in the car, just chilling out. He didn't care. And then from there, um, packed up, headed on home. Just said my goodbyes and stuff. Won't be staying until I get back up next trip or they get down to Florida, whichever comes first. Headed on out, went to the house, had some other things to do. Finished um, getting other things done here and there. Went ahead and started packing the car up because I'm ready to go. All I have left to do is go see the surgeon tomorrow and hopefully be on the road early. Hopefully it's a quick appointment there because the appointment's not till like 11. You figure I'm out of here. I won't be leaving the house here till like 2 in the afternoon. It really puts me way behind schedule. But it is what it is. So, yeah, it sucks, but I'll be out of here as soon as I can. I get my ass down to Florida and living life with the people I need to be around and good people and just good environment and everything. I cannot wait to get back down there. So went ahead, um, got the car all packed up, and there's a few things that don't fit, unfortunately. There's some giant stuff that don't fit, like, you know, my mattress and that kind of stuff, clearly, but there's a couple things, and I also realize I have a giant bag of dog food. I have to figure out how to get that in the car, so I might stop in and buy, like, some gallon, one-gallon um, freezer bags and see if I can't kind of separate out stuff in a couple of small holes here and there and whatnot. I might even just seal it up and leave it here, the rest of it, for the next trip up and go from there, but we'll see what happens, so... I think the next trip up, I might be flying back in. Depends on what happens. So that won't, won't not bring a dog then. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, from there, I just I got the car all packed up, went for a run, 
Um, I'm the car's pretty well set, and then found out that I guess my mother wants to go with me tomorrow to meet the surgeon, or when I go to meet the surgeon, I don't know if she's gonna wait in the lobby or whatever, who knows. But um, I gotta unpack part of the car because I have stuff in the front seat floorboard that I now have to unpack and then repack and whatnot. But it is what it is. So went ahead, set the heck with it. Um, now I'm making tea. I'm still doing that. It's well past midnight already, and yeah, I'm still making tea. So hopefully I get that all done. Get in the freezer. And um, get some stuff cold so I can get it going. And worst case scenario, I'll throw it in a, my big 12 volt freezer and I'll have it, it'll freeze itself down. It's like negative eight in no time. So it does a lot better when it's already going in there with ice instead of taking hot, you know, 165 degree temperature with water and trying to freeze it down. So, but yeah, overall, great night. Uh, got some plans this weekend that may come to fruition that could be very, very interesting in the process. So we'll have to see what happens and go from there. Talk to you guys soon. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.